Hey everyone, and welcome to another weapon review, which is today gonna be the Assault Rifle. Now the Assault Rifle is a really underused weapon and with a pretty good reason, because if you go to the weapon card stats right here, and if you look at my modifications on the weapon, as well as the modifications on the other weapon, which is this one, you will see that it's the exact same modifications, while, you know, despite pretty much every single stat being the exact same, the damage itself is uh, much much different. And uh, yes, that's not really promising to start off with, uh, as you can see, that's actually about almost one and a half points type of type, times of damage, which you know again is pretty big, especially for something like not uh, automatic uh, uh, rifle. But there are certain stats that are not listed on this weapon card. For example, recoil, um, vets, uh, AP usage, and uh, reload speed. So let's test those out and see if this weapon has anything going for it, or it's literally just a downgrade compared to the handmade rifle, shall we? To do that, first of all, I'm gonna test recoil and I'm just gonna stand next to this wall right here and I am gonna mag dump uh, an, an entire magazine into this wall and see how far my reticle will move upwards. As you can see I lined it right over there at the bottom of that uh, metal sheet and let's mag dump. It starts to carry a bit to the right at the very end, but as you can see, it actually didn't even reach the very bot very top of the metal sheet. So let's see now how the assault rifle performs. Again, same magazine size, so the same amount of bullets will be shot. Pretty much the same, if not a bit worse. Uh, let's just do another one just to confirm this. Yeah, pretty much the same. So recoil is, is the same. Now the other side, I'm gonna be pulling up some editing tools for this one, is the of course reload speed. So, reload speed. Done. Well, I didn't even need to measure the time that it, to see that's actually slower for the enemy rifle. So I guess the assault rifle does have one uh, benefit to it right off the bat, even though it's not probably a very big one. Alright, uh, let's move on to the wet test, shall we? Alrighty, so we are right here at the fissure site and we've got a legendary Scorch Beast for our target practice. I pulled off all of my perks that are dealing damage so that I actually probably not gonna kill him before I run out of ammunition because what I'm gonna test is that how many ammunitions can I shoot in vets before I run out of AP points. So, to do that I'm gonna be, have to be stationary of course because movement does take up AP and I have to be close enough for the Scorch Beast to actually notice me. And there we go, okay, he's gonna land now, or at least go clo come closer to where I can actually target him in vets. And let's start uh, aiming at him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and I ran out of uh, AP as well as magazine. I probably could have fired off one more shot before I ran out though, so keep that in mind. So about 25, 26 bullets before I ran out of AP. Alright, so here we go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and we run out of AP. So as you can see, the assault rifle actually outperforms the handmade rifle when it comes to AP usage. And uh, yes, that's even though with not a huge amount, it does become noticeable if you start mag dumping enemies, especially if you're using automatic version. So yeah, I guess there is the two factors that kind of give a little bit of uh, merit to the assault rifle over the enemy rifle, despite probably the you know damage overall still being much more valuable. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this somewhat informative, and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.